Hello YouTube, my name is Shakra from King of Komodos, and I'm here to talk a little bit about anime and what I'm going to be doing on my channel today. Now, anime is my favorite genre of cartoon, because it puts like tons of battles and all this different stuff into it to make an amazing TV show. It's, a, it's just amazing media. It keeps sniffling. Anyway, so, um, what, um... I'm gonna be doing today it's kind of hard to explain I'm going to be doing challenges from different anime um, it's gonna be games that I created to suit the different anime rather than just um, doing someone else's game or playing a video game because that's kind of boring so I came up with all these different challenges that I'm gonna do which suits the five anime that I'm gonna do today now these five anime are brrr, Death Note, Naruto, Bleach, My, My Hero Academia, and Dragon Ball. Those are the five anime challenges I'm going to be doing today. I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to be doing until we start those. But before we do start them, I want you guys to like and subscribe down there. Click those buttons down there. And yeah, hit the intro. Time has come, I'm ready to go Venturing into the unknown Okay, you guys, the first challenge I thought of to do was the Naruto challenge. I've been brainstorming these for about a week. Um, so I'm starting with my Naruto challenge that I created, which is called the um, Jutsu Hand Sign Challenge. I'm not very good at naming these. The Jutsu Hand Sign Challenge. Now, you guys can follow me doing this at home because I have um, the, um, the hand signs that I'm going to be doing up on the screen for you guys. So basically what I've done is I've had my camera crew create um, a video of all the hand signs and speed it up over time so that it gets harder and harder the longer you do it. Now, it's exactly one minute long. So as long as these three hearts up here don't run out, I win. And I get to complete the Naruto Hand Sign Challenge. Jutsu Hand Sign Challenge. The Naruto Jutsu Hand Sign Challenge. Now, let's get ready to do that. Okay, you guys. Let's get right into this. But before we do, I want to tell you guys that I'm trained in the arts of Jutsu and Hand Signs. So, if I lose any of these three hearts up here, I mean all of them, then I'm out. Let us begin. Snake, easy. Rat, another easy. Monkey. Dog. Oof, oof. Horse. Rat. Tiger. Rabbit. Bird, this is another hard one. Dog. And level two. Horse is the first one. Horse. Rat. I didn't lose any hearts yet. Tiger. Ox. Snake. Rat. Dragon. Level three. Extreme mode. Dog. Ram. Monkey. I lost one heart. Horse. <laughs> I lost all my heart. Ah. Okay, you guys, I lost this one challenge. Lost every single heart I had, unfortunately. Because extreme mode is way too hard. So, you guys can replay that part if you want to um, try to join in with me to play the game. So, yeah. Um, let's go on to the next challenge. Okay, you guys, time for the next challenge of this video. So, this challenge is my Death Note challenge. I put together a list of all the most hated anime characters according to the ranker and I have to write their names down and hope that these anime abominations will be deleted from the anime universe. Yay! I have my death note here. It's just a piece of paper. Um, and that is where I will be writing these names. So, let me start the video real quick. It has begun. And the first character is... Hercules Satan. Let me write his name. Ooh, it's 
switched. Ragio. Uh, no. Ragio. Cute. Oh my god, Queen Barrel. I missed one. I missed two, Marshall Teach. Oh my god, he has a lower name. Charles. I'm done. Jendo. Ikari. I have no idea who that guy is. I forgot. Donzo Shimura. Come on, give me enough time to write his name. Oh my god. Uh. <laughs> His name is too long. I'm not even gonna. Oh, so's K. Eisen. Why do people hate Eisen? I like Eisen. Okay, now the video is over, and I have eliminated quite a few anime abominations. The only one that I wrote and wasn't able to finish was Charles Zebertania, because his name is very long. Very, very long. I have eliminated Hercules Satan, who I don't really like, but the ranker says that he's one of the most hated characters, so. I mean, I do really like, but, er, yeah. So, I have eliminated Ragyo, Kiryuan, um, Hercules Satan, Queen Barrel, Marshall Teach, Jendo Ikari, Donzo Shimura, and Sosuke Aizen. The next challenge I shall be doing, YouTube, is this third challenge, which is called the Bleach Zangpak Toe Challenge. Now, I have created many, many swords, because if you guys pay attention to my previous video, I love swords. If you know me, you'll know that swords are like top 10, top number one in my list of best weapons to use. I love swords. Any anime character with a sword is an awesome anime character. And I have created many, many swords. Let me grab one of my swords, which shall be acting as my Zanpak toe today. This is my beautiful Sasuke sword. I modeled it after Sasuke's sword. Um, it has been crushed under the weight of many different things, but it'll do for this challenge I'm doing today. So, this is my Zanpak Toe. What I'm going to be doing is training with my Zanpak Toe and following Bleach's instructions to train with a Zanpak Toe. This is my Zanpak Toe, as you can see. It's a little bit bent, but it does the job of being a sword. So, let me begin that. Okay, you guys. According to Bleach Wiki, to train with a Zanpak Toe, I have to, um, let's see. I have to get to know the Zanpak Toe spirit. The method is the only way to carry on proper conversation. I have to meditate with the sword. I have to place it on my lap, take a meditative pose, meditative pose and force my mind to become one with the Zanpak Toe. Let me skip ahead of this for you guys. Okay, you guys, I've gotten to know my Zanpak Toe here pretty well. Um, yeah. It says that I'm, I have to get it to know it closely. Um, now, time for me to test out. My Zanpak Toe. Let me see what new abilities I have. <laughs> yeah, too. <laughs> okay, that was a stupid challenge. We're done with this one, and time to go on to the next of the anime challenge. Hey you guys, this is the fourth challenge, the My Hero Academia challenge. I am have to create I'm gonna have to create a makeshift quirk out of things I have around my apartment. So let me start doing that. I only have one minute to do this. So let us begin. Okay you guys. I'm back and I created this very interesting hero outfit in the one minute I had to create this quirk. My new quirk is called Sword Manipulation or Blade. I'm just shortening it to Blade because that sounds awesome. So what this quirk of mine does 
is allows me to control any sharp object that um, I can find. So essentially, I could control uh, scissors or um, anything as long as it has a blade at the end. So I can control swords primarily, and that is my newest quirk. So let me give you a little preview of my quirk. Activate sword attack. Go! And, yeah, that's basically my quirk. I still have one more challenge to do. So, yeah, get ready to see that one. Should I keep wearing this outfit? What do you think? No, it's terrible. Okay, <laughs> I'll stop wearing the outfit. Okay, you guys, I saved the best challenge for last. This is my Dragon Ball challenge. We all know that Dragon Ball is known for extensive power-ups, um, Kamehameha's, and super long fights, four hour long fights. So, today I'm gonna be voice acting one of the most, one of the most iconic parts in Dragon Ball. The time that Goku went Super Saiyan, the first time at least. So, let us begin that. time after every video where I must say goodbye to you all um, watch this end screen all the way to the end so that you can see what video on my channel is best for you um, yeah I hope you enjoyed this video I'm glad that you watched it all the way to the end to see me say this and yeah I want you guys to like and subscribe yeah that's pretty much it see you guys later Skills to close and I